Yo, what's happening, guys? It's Flo, and I'm here with Sly. So Kai Soto and Jordan Clarkson recently joined the Filipino national team. I believe Saturday was their first practice. Obviously, Jordan Clarkson, former Laker guy. Kai Soto, a guy we hope who lands on the Lakers eventually. But what do you think this does for our Kai Soto, Sly? Oh, man, it's awesome. Working out with NBA talent out there, that's just going to elevate his game, man. Right now, he really doesn't have that playing with, what does he play, the NBL or something NBL. like that? NBL. NBL, he doesn't have that. But now he has guys that actually are there, and they can teach him, man, if you want to make this, you got to do that. you got to work harder. you got to do this. You know, it's always different when you have it for, hear it from an NBA player. So it's really good, man. He's probably going to tell him to hit those weights, get more aggressive, get strong, be a dog out there like he is. So we'll see what happens. But I think this is nothing but good things for Kai Soto. Um, it gives him another year to develop be ready for next year hopefully next year someone will look at them pick them up and time will tell i like this because these two guys are pretty much the face of the filipino national team so you know a lot of the offense is going to run through them what do i envision these two guys running pick and roll pick and roll is kind of the bread and butter currently of the nba game you have to be able to run the pick and roll in order to get pretty much playing time right now in the NBA. So I think this is going to be good for Kai Soto. He's going to get adjusted to that because it's going to be essentially him, Jordan Clarkson, probably 60, 60, 70 percent of the time with the ball. They're going to be running this pick and roll. And I think it's going to be good for Kai Soto because he's going to learn how NBA players run the pick and roll. Either it's going to be lobs, pick and pop. And I'm pretty sure Jordan Clarkson is going to explain to him the little details, what to look for while you're running the play. Yeah, absolutely, man. You hit it right on the head, man. Just he's got to do it different because right now it's probably they, their system is probably a lot different than the NBA, and you just learn different things, and that's all great, man. He's just gonna get better. He's only what 21, 22, so he's young cat, so he's got plenty of time to get bigger and stronger. It's happened before, man. George, Jeremy Lin, another guy who talked about him, he said, man, it took me a while to get into the NBA, and when he did, man, he was that Lin Sandy explosion that just came out of nowhere. Um, used to be a huge fan of Jeremy Lin, right? So <laughs> we all know how that is, but we'll see, man. I think just like I said, the bigger and stronger he gets it's going to be better because he's got that beautiful shot I love his outside game I love his three point shooting ability when you have that three point shooting if you just add that little more to your game I think definitely he's going to make the NBA but it's just got to be patient about it got to work harder keep going remember he during the whole process he got hurt so a lot of NBA teams are like oh can this guy even play an 82 game season so that probably cost him a chance right there alone to make a, a roster so uh, we'll see what happens but hopefully he gets bigger and stronger and they can show these scouts show these GMs you know I'm here and I'm ready yeah, so yeah, if I'm Kai Soto, I'm partnering up with Jordan Clarkson as much as possible, not even on the court, off the court, go work out with him, see how he prepares himself in the gym, and then see how he does his nutrition once he's done with basketball practice and hitting the weights, see how he eats. All these little things matter. Learn how to become an NBA kind of pro. Yeah, and one thing you can't te you can't teach no matter what is height, and he's got that height for a seven foot one guy. He does not have two left feet. A lot of guys you always see out there with two left feet. One guy that comes to mind always is Bill Bradley. Man, he had two left feet. He didn't have the skills. Kai Soto does have the skills, man. Honestly, if Kai Soto was playing in the '90s, he would be in the NBA right now. He really would. Let's be real. Uh, Bill Bradley could make it, man. This guy could have made it definitely. So he's got. He's not, not. He's not a dork out there. He's got. He could dribble. He could drive it in. He's fluid out there. Looks good. The, looks the part. So just got to work on that uh, physicality, and I think he'll get in, man. Yeah, and he he does have really good um, motor skills for his height. He reminds me of Gasol mixed with like Vladi Divac shooting ability. So I think he does have potential, but hopefully he takes this uh, this FIBA run, learns what what to do, goes competes against some other guys. So then NBA scouts can see what he does against top level competition and hopefully all good things for Kai Soto from here on out. Yeah, but that's what we got guys. Let's know what you guys think about this. This is a good idea for Clarkson and Kai Soto teaming up, working together uh, to try to win it. Uh, let me know down below. Make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Talk to you guys next time. Peace. Peace.